You want me to talk? Shh. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Retirement Adventures. Look at Chris. Say hey, Chris. He's eating a birthday cake from from somebody. It's somebody's birthday yesterday. Hey, today we are in uh, this restroom remodeling of the bathtub caulking situation. If you can see that caulking is kind of old and it's got a little crack on the plastic right up here. So I'm going to remove that as much as I can and then I'm going to put some new caulk in. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. And what we've got to hide that is a magic peel and stick caulk tub and wall. New look. See? New look. Magic peel and stick caulk. It's for the amateurs like I am. I mean, it's you really can't mess this up. But I'm, I'll show y'all how I put it on. And uh, hopefully I can do a good job around these curves. See that little curve right there? That's where it's a little tough on the little push out things. But that's okay. I'm going to try it anyway. First thing I can do is see if I can remove all that other caulk. All right, pull out. All right, I got it all scraped off. As good as it can go. And uh, clean it off so it's going to be a nice seal. Now on this cheating stuff, I call it cheating, it's got caulking on the back already. And you just peel this off and right there is your caulking. Peel and stick, and it's a, it's a caulking but it's also a glue at the same time. And it's, I mean, it's called magic and it's really magical stuff. Except for they didn't do a real good cut on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recut that a little bit to make it look a little bit more straighter. Um, and then I'll start doing it and uh, showing you guys how to put this on. As you can see, there's a little line in there. So it bends. Just like this. So you line. And you bend it. And it just goes perfect. I mean, it's perfect. It hides any imperfections and any other caulking. And it really does, it does a great, great job. It's, again, it's called Magic, Magic Peel and Stick Caulk for uh, bathtubs. And uh, I've used it many times on some other remodel jobs I've done before. So uh, if you got a tub that's caulking's loose or you need to re-caulk it, this stuff is really good if you don't know how to caulk. And uh, in this case, I know how to caulk, but this is, this, I just like doing it with this a lot better because it's a lot cleaner look. All right. I'm going to start it and see what it looks like. Okay, I started on one corner and I want to make sure that I got it 100% 90 degree. So it's got to, you got to make sure that the bottom is perfectly square. See how that's nice and nice and tied up against there. Now this has two strands of uh, plastic paper you have to pull off. So uh, you got to take them both off at the same time, unfortunately, which is okay, but it's something that you need to know. And then you just work real slow. Don't you can't get in a hurry with this stuff because once you get in a hurry, then you're you're gonna screw it up. So you got to go nice and slow with it, peeling your plastic off both sides at the same time, trying to ensure that you get it down on the tub first and then on the the tub surround second now this is going to be a little bit of a trick because it's got the curve in it but again if you can get it on the tub itself first come back with your thumb and then get it on the tub enclosure just like that you see, I don't know if you can see a good, there you go. You probably can see it better now. Again, put it on the tub and then put it on the enclosure and then rub it with your thumb. And you want to do just a little bit at a time. Now we got this corner. We got a corner and a curve. Now this is going to be tricky and I hope I don't have to do a relief cut in there, but I think I'm going to have to right there. All right, so I'm gonna have to put a release, a release cut in there and overlap that a little bit. So I'm gonna try that and I'll show you guys how I how that worked in just a moment. That's what I'm talking about right there. When you go around the curve, I gotta do a little release cut. All right, pull out. Okay, what I'm telling you about a relief cut is I cut it here, cut it there, 
and then I'll, I'll backfill that with just a little bit of a regular white caulking and fit it in but that's the only way you can get around the curves um, but the rest of it you just like I said you just go right down I got another curve I got to work with yet and then to end it right up in here so I got another curve I'm gonna have to put a couple of relief cuts in it and then uh, any little gaps I have in there um, I'm just gonna have to fill with the uh, the regular caulking but it does do a real nice clean top part right through there and uh, nice clean clean looking uh, caulk job actually so when I get done completely I'll show you what it looks like got around this corner yet to do and uh, we'll give it a try see what it looks like hopefully Miss Tammy is gonna like it all right Paul out okay the only problem we have with this magic stuff is around the curves so I'm gonna have to do a little caulking I brought some caulking with me oh hello uh, so right around these curves where this is just a little bit of a gap I'm gonna caulk a little bit but this tub the enclosure comes out at an angle so it really makes it kind of hard to do that the rest of it looks really really well so I'm gonna see if I can doctor it up with some regular caulking hide this a little bit better and hide these little gaps so that's what I'm gonna do right now okay Chris just showed up he's making me nervous okay here we go first off hi just this one here just not down good enough A little flatter now. All right. Put a little extra on there because I always wipe it away and clean it off as I go. So I'm gonna just let that sit there and then I want to do the other side. I don't know if you all can see real good over here or not. Same thing I had to do this do the same thing over here where I had to relief cut it and the bend around the corner was not that great. But I'm hoping that this here make it stick better and make it look better okay. I think that's all I need okay now the key thing about caulking is make sure your finger is really really wet okay You don't want it to be dry because then it just it goes everywhere so we want everything to be nice and wet okay. let that dry and uh, I think it's okay it's just a little bit of a gap but I think it's gonna serve the purpose of what we wanted to get done here Everything else is sticking really well. So now I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. And you really want to kind of mimic what you just did over there because that way everything looks uniform. Okay. I need this just a smidge more wet. See, the wetter you get it, the smoother the caulk, your finished caulk would be. And 
and uh, I just need a smidge more here because I didn't like the way that thing bumped out. There we go. There we go. And a tiny bit right here. I'm going to bring that right down to the top. And with a wet finger, it comes off real easy. And there we go. Hopefully, everything sticks, dries well, and uh, ends well. So, y'all didn't see that very well because I had it on the wrong side. But I just did that side. Same thing, you want to use nice wet finger when you're spreading your caulking and then it's real easy to clean up okay thanks for watching that's how you do a quick 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 tub caulking with your magic caulk hopefully it turns out nicely hopefully it stays good i mean it looks pretty good from where it, uh, you looked at earlier here's the finished product all right thanks for watching horse over jumper adventures we took care of tammy and chris's bathroom problem so hopefully uh, everything will be perfect, Paul out.